Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through installing ArcGIS Experience Builder for the Developer Edition. The first step is you need to have at least a version of 12x node on your system. Probably the easiest way is to use the Windows installer if you're on Windows or the Mac installer. And basically this package just comes with NPM included. The next step is to download and extract the Developer Edition on your local system. So I've already in extracted the local edition and basically there's two services you need to install. The first is the client. Um, so what I'm going to do is we've already changed to the directory location of the client and basically what we're going to do is run npm ci which basically means clean install and we're going to do the same on the server. Okay. Now the difference between the two is the server is the builder GUI is when you see and you upload the experience builder on your local system. The client directory basically is to house the installation of the client service that will listen to changes if you're going to develop any custom widgets or themes and basically launches Webpack to listen to those changes. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type npm start for the server. So it basically kicks the process on for the server and basically we're going to do the same for the client as well. And one thing I like to point out is once Webpack launches it's listening and watching for files. In some instances when you add new folders or files you're going to need to restart the service but anything in green color font that's great. If you have any errors or anything like that, it'll be in red, and most likely the service is the service won't run, and you'll need to inspect that further. Okay. Now the next step is we just need to go into our local host. Now remember, we ship Experience Builder with a self-signed cert. So if you want to install your own cert, you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and trust this source. The next step is to add your local organization and your client ID. So basically we can launch OAuth to perform the sign-in to grant access to this uh, developer edition. And basically we're gonna hit sign in and there you have it. We have ex installed Experience Builder on our local system. Mm -hmm. 